Hi friends, this is Angelica. Welcome back to the Greedery YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be introducing a few new products from the new Calico Fields collection and then we're going to put together this card. We're going to start with the new Countryside die. This die set has four building dies with accessories to decorate the buildings and um, a windmill, a silo, and trees. So I've already die cut a panel of white cardstock and I'm going to ink all the pieces with Distress Oxide inks before gluing them together. I picked light and dark colors for each home structure and used ground espresso for the roofs. So this first structure I used aged mahogany and candied apple. I did pop out the windows for all the structures and we will back them uh, in a little bit. As you can see, these homes come together really quickly. When I added the glue to the smaller parts, I did tap the glue uh, onto scratch paper before I added it to the structure. This way I made sure I wasn't going to have glue seeping out and wetting the ink. For the green structures, I used Bundle Sage and Rustic Wilderness. I did keep the lighter colors on the west side of all the structures. That way the light source stayed the same. Uh, the trees got a quick coat of bundle sage and forest moss. And then I moved on to the windmill. I added light and dark red to the roof. And then I inked the windmill tower with antique linen. And I just used, oh, the lightest hand. And I actually blended out the ink with a unused um, finger dauber just just to keep that windmill as light as possible the sail it took me a couple minutes to poke out all the little squares and then I inked it with ground espresso ink and before gluing all of the pieces together I finished the fences with ground espresso ink and put the silo together with a red top. And now you can see all of the structures that are in this die set put together. I die cut the structures one more time out of white cardstock and I kept the windows in them. Um, I added adhesive to the back to hold the windows in place and added yellow ink to the um, structures before gluing on the ink structures so those windows are now they now have a yellow glow in them the next products that we're going to use are the new rolling hills die and rolling hills stencil you can see that this is a, this is a pretty large die and the stencils match it perfectly to color in the hills the stencil set has seven stencils and we're going to be using six of those stencils in the set today. The seventh stencil does add um, background trees to the hills. I've already die cut white cardstock with the Rolling Hills die. And since I have my oxide inks out and daubers, I decided to use them with the stencils. Now I typically tape my stencils down to the panels, but these are super easy to line up so I just held them into place and quickly added the ink. The first colors I used were Bundled Sage, Wild Honey, and Victorian Velvet. And then for the lines on the hills, I used Forest Moss, Rusty Hinge, and Aged Mahogany. I absolutely love the chalky finish that Distress Oxide inks um, leave and I thought it was a perfect texture for these hills. Now I'm going to move on to the night sky. I picked a dark blue and black ink to blend onto a card panel. Once I was finished um, and the ink was dry, I splattered watered down white acrylic paint onto the panel and set that aside to dry. To put the scene together, I trimmed the night sky panel down and now I'm figuring out how much of the hill I want to use. So the die die cut slits into the card panel so it's really easy to snip hills away until you get to the size that you want. Since I couldn't see the bottom of the sky panel and I wanted to make sure I wasn't putting the hills too high up on the panel, I did trim the bottom hill off. I lined up the other hills to um, the height that I wanted them to be and I glued the green um, hill into place, trimmed the panel, and then glued the other hills on top of the green hill, and then I trimmed the panel one last time. 
I attached the panel to a card base and then I started arranging the structures around until I was happy with the scene. Um, I adhered the structures into place and then I moved on to the sentiment. I picked a sentiment from the new Thankful Heart stamp set. This is a stamp and stencil set and there's an included guide sheet to show how to use the stencil to fill in the sentiments and then the stencil also coordinates with another stencil set in this release. Since I am white heat embossing this sentiment onto black cardstock, I did not use the stencil. Um, once I did have the white embossing powder melted, I used the coordinating die to die cut the sentiment and attached it to the card front with thin foam squares to finish the card. Now you can find full details on these new products and on the rest of the release over on the Greetery blog. That's all that I have for today. I want to thank you so much for joining me. I hope I was able to share some ideas and inspiration using these products. If you like what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more projects from the Greedery in the future, be sure to subscribe. Thanks again for joining me. Take care, friends.